as Google actually put some of the capabilities of Google Translate, like simultaneous translation, into the iOS version before they put it into their own Android operating system. So don't fear if you're using an iPhone or an iPad. Google Translate is really good. And it has some interesting features here I'll show you here. Uh, we'll go back uh, to the home page. It has three different ways you can translate stuff. You can show a picture. You can speak to it. And by the way, and I'll show in a bit, there's a simultaneous translation feature. And you can type to it, and it'll give you text back. Let's start with the picture. They bought a little while ago, they bought a company uh, that did this exact thing. I have a Spanish sign. Thank you, Jason Cleanthus, who printed this out for me. And the idea is you're in, um, I'm going to first of all change the language to Spanish. You're in um, a, a foreign country. One of the, th it's one thing to try to speak to a, a person. It's another thing entirely to uh, try to speak to a sign. They generally don't <laughs> respond. So you're really kind of out of luck unless you can ask a person, uh, does that sign say don't come in this place or whatever? You These, could type it out, but that you would could, be hard. You could type it. This is really handy. So I'm, I've changed to Spanish to English. This is a Spanish sign. And look at that. Look at that. I mean, wait a minute, Whoa, I got to show you the Spanish. That is amazing. The other thing that's really cool about this is it does it in the same typeface. It actually looks like the sign. So there's the Spanish and property municipal of the angels. Okay, Los Angeles is the angels. But you get enough, right? No transfer, no park, no pull rubbish. I think they probably mean place rubbish. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Rape. <laughs> Sometimes it's not purpose. Perfect. Rapists Neither will be punished we. of agreement with the law. I don't think that's, it's violators, not, anyway. Um, so it's doing the best it well, can. Well, hopefully that's also true. I, I do hope it's true. Uh, it's probably not the translation you were looking for, and I love it that it's Municipal of the Angels instead of City of Los Angeles. But I, you gotta, you gotta admit that that's impressive. It is. It's not as good, I admit, as I had hoped it would be. Let's see if we can figure out. This one's an important one. You really don't want to. What does Pelegro mean? Does that mean come on in? Yes. Does it mean, go does, swimming. Just Put go on swimming. Your suit. It's going to be a beautiful day. Let's let's go see what Pelegro means. It means danger. Oh. Electrical lines up. Arriba! You see how it does that? And what's amazing is it matches. What? I'm not holding it very steadily. Let me let me hold That's it more. That's really steadily. fascinating. Keep it saying it matches like the sign. Water. Danger. Lines electrical up. Is that not impressive? That is the. Oh, is we it are saying in, foot locker? We're in real trouble as humans. We yeah, because really the computers are. really are smarter They're than we are. So much better. You know, but let me show you. Okay, and the other way, of course, is you could type it. But the the one that I want to show you is the same one you were showing. On the Microsoft thing, this is Google Translate. Can we? I'm gonna I'm gonna go into Chinese here though, because uh, I'll show you all the languages. I mean, it's a it's a whole heck of a lot of uh, world languages, but capabilities vary. Chinese it does speak out loud. It doesn't speak all languages out loud. If I had a Chinese speaker, is Tony here? Tony, are you here? I could try I this. I could learn Chinese real quick. Um, let me let me just try this. So one thing it does is it automatically understands which language is speaking. Mm. Okay, Tony. We're going we're gonna to go get him. Uh, Tony Wang, who's one of our oldest, longest employees, uh, is, uh, is from uh, t uh, China. Actually, he's from Thailand. Tha mm. Tha Taiwan. Taiwan. <laughs> and, uh, but he speaks uh, Mandarin. And uh, we're going to see how he does in uh, translating it here. All right, Tony, are you ready? Now, uh, I'll say something to you in English, and I'm hoping it will say it in uh, Chinese to you. And you tell us how good this translation is. Hi, I'm a stranger around here. I'm wondering where I can find the art museum. Hi, I'm I do not know. <laughs> You're kind of a loser, aren't you? <laughs> this is going downhill fast. It's my mom and dad's fault. So how was the translation? Was it pretty good? It was perfect. It was perfect. Wow. It was perfect. What's amazing is Chinese is one of those languages where, you know, with Spanish and French, you can kind of know if it's correct. But with Chinese, uh, English speakers have no idea if they're getting it on the mark. And I imagine it's the same thing with Chinese speakers. Right. So the fact that we could have a conversation uh, and it would translate that to you. Let me just play that back because I know you don't speak English. <laughs> It's thinking. It's pretty mm -hmm. fast, though, but that was a lot of speech. It's processing. 
Uh, it, didn't, it didn't say it out loud. What it translated was, so Obama wants to talk to it's my mom and dad's fault. So how's the translation? It was pretty good. It was perfect. It was perfect. What's amazing is China, it got it pretty well. Yeah. So I, you think this would be useful as a tourist, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Tony. I appreciate it. We've tried this with a number of languages, and it is surprisingly accurate.